Hey guys, and welcome back to Mischief Maker TV. Now, on the last episode, you saw that I blew a 1480U joint, so I decided to open up both sides, driver and passenger, and service both U joints, so just replace them. But when I opened up the driver's side, I found something pretty incredible. Let's go check it out. So as you can see, the wheel and tire we took off, pretty simple. And now it is time to get this brake caliper and the rotor out of the way so we can service this hub. So my fusion axles came with the Chevy 3500 brakes in the front. This caliper is held on by two bolts. We have one up here and then we have one at the bottom. Now the one up top, I actually already broke because no one wants to see that. It's really hard. These bolts should have a ton of Loctite on them and also it was a little tricky because I can't get the socket on up here but I can use a socket underneath so you need a 21 millimeter wrench for this so we're just going to go ahead and, and loosen that back up So now that we've broken this loose, I'm just going to use basically a bigger ratchet to just get the rest of this off. And then we're going to move to the smaller one way easier to handle. So now that we have the bolts on here loosened and out, it needs to obviously go somewhere. So we're just going to hook it up with my lovely Harbor Freight bungee cord right here. I have a box of these in the Jeep at all times. So um, we're just going to hook it around the suspension. All right, and we just want to make sure that there's no tension in the lines down here. There's not, so that's kind of perfect. All right, so since we have this beautiful caliper out of the way, it makes it really easy to take the rotor off and then we can get to servicing the hub. Now that everything has been removed, we can now get to working on the hub. Now, the first thing we need to do is just remove these bolts, but do be careful because behind them is a nylon washer and you don't really want to lose those. So take it easy, people. I'm just going to be using this 530 seconds Allen to just get all of these out. Okay. 
All right. As you can see, we have a ring right here that I almost dropped there. That would not have been good. Now that we have, I guess I'm going to call this the cap off of the hub because the hub is obviously right here. Um, let's take a look at what is going on inside of here. You can see the grease not looking in the best condition at all. And as you can see right here, it looks a little lighter. It's actually pink. Now, I believe that that means there is water in here which is not the greatest but it's fine we're going to take everything apart and take a real close look at what's going on inside here so let's get to work all right so we've taken the front of that hub off we've seen what's inside now we're going to get in there and break everything down so we uh first of all have to get this first clip out i have watched many a video it's uh doesn't look like it's the easiest thing on earth. Okay. Oh. A little tricky. You just have to find where it starts. <laughs> Let's see. Ha. Beautiful. Just be careful taking everything out. Whoa. Whoa. Beautiful. Numero uno. All right, now we're gonna take the pick again. We're just gonna pop it in here. Slide this right out. Yee, beautiful. Paper towel with the other. Good this stuff is so, okay. We got this one out. Perfect. Now we're gonna head on in and get that inside snap ring. <laughs> I'm just moving it up instead of out. <sighs> Here we go. There we go. Yes. Maybe. So when you take this one out, just watch because everything will spring right forward. Right for it. It goes for it. Pretty cool, right? If you've never done this before, definitely go for it. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. All right, so we're just gonna kind of wipe on in here. Ooh, nice. Now we can see what I'm trying to get to is helpful. Here we go. A little spacer. She's need a little hand getting this one out. Here we go. All right. Now that the Yukon internals are out, we're gonna take the hub off the spindle and I have the spindle nut socket. Now you don't need one of these to get this off. You can actually go at it with a hammer and a flathead screwdriver, but to save time, I have this. So let's try and get it in there first of all before we put the breaker bar on. Beautiful, perfect. Grab the breaker bar. Whoa. Let's go up this way. Put that in. Oh. oh. 
Now we're gonna take the hub off and there's gonna be bearings in the front and the back, or at least there should be. Let's see. There are three more things we have to do before we get to the axle shaft. We have to remove the brake caliper bracket. Attached to that is the ABS line. And then we have to remove the spindle itself. I'm actually just gonna get the spindle a wipe down first. The great thing about these three things is that they're all held together by the six same bolts. So I have a 19 millimeter right here. I'm going to break them loose and then I'm just going to zip them off. Okay, now that we've loosened them up, I'm going to put this on here, but can't forget about the ABS line. Super important. You do not want to damage that. We're just going to take a 10 millimeter wrench take this off beautiful take that up there should be a little clip behind here here we go we're just gonna pop this we're gonna put the screw back in here so we don't forget where that was and zip these off going to take the mallet and just kind of bang the back of it lightly. The last thing to come off is the spindle. Now at the back of the spindle there are bearings and I hope that the condition is good, but if not, we need to take a look at the stub shaft to see if they have scarred it at all. Okay, so there's a little bit of a problem here. Uh, there's nothing holding the axle shaft in, so, and it's not coming out. So, I'm going to do half this right now. Let's see what's going on here. All right. Actually, everything seems to be okay here. We're going to pop this one down. Now we're working with... Uh, the axle shaft that won't come out. I think it's been a little tweaked, I think. A little bent, perhaps. Pop this back in here and see what's going on. <laughs> oh, oh, man, covered in grease. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. So, this is what's happened. Wow. I wish you guys could see Walter's face right now. His jaw is like... I'm surprised. Wow. 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 <laughs> what? These things are meaty beefy. So, let's just hold on let's just hold on for a second so we knew that we had completely busted this completely busted it you saw the pieces the other day we had no idea that this had happened look at this 
from all angles what the actual all right let's get the rest of this out and take a look at it oh here we go all right okay how do you feel about that walter you have to say something now it's pretty serious That's it's pretty serious, serious. <laughs> what Okay guys, I think we're gonna end the episode there. Um, we've actually just taken the parts, like the axle shafts, and we've taken a spindle over here that's kind of garbage. So uh, let's just take a look quickly at what the damage was when we opened everything up today. Let's start with the driver's side. That was the side that we were concerned about. We knew that we had broken a 1480 u-joint look at that just popped off and shattered into pieces we knew that we had no idea that i had managed to twist and break the actual axle shaft incredible now these are chromoly so <laughs> they're not easy to break i don't know how i did it but i did it people so we have that break right there. This was the end of the axle shaft. This was the one I had to kind of put the breaker bar in there to get out. You can see it's uh, twisted right there, twisted right there, especially this side. So just had to get that out, which we managed to do, but that is hot trash. Then we're going to move on to the passenger side. We opened this up just because we wanted to service the U-joint. We were going to switch this U-joint out right here, the same as the other side. But the bearings broke on the spindle. I'm going to show you inside there in just a second. And you can see right here that it's completely scarred right here. Look at that. Look at all of that scarring. Insane. And then the bearings completely shattered like confetti. There's still more in here. You can see it. There's still a bunch in there. Just incredible. See them right here, you ready? Just like confetti. Just insane. Look at all that. And uh, just so you guys understand, this is what it's supposed to look like. That is what it's supposed to look like. Right there. This is what it looks like. So, yeah, some unexpected breaks we found, but I'm super happy that we actually wanted to open up the other side to check what was going on because there were obviously big problems on both the driver and passenger side. So we have a lot to sit down and talk about, Walter and I. We need to clearly order parts from Mischief Maker and um, we're gonna be busy for the next couple of days trying to figure out what parts we're actually going to use moving forward. So I think that is actually it for today. It's hot. We're just away to go prep the axle to sit there because it has no internals and it's gonna be there for probably the next week. So we're gonna prep that right now. And uh, until next time, guys, I will see you later.